What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. Today I wanted to explain the difference between monocrystalline and polycrystalline solar panels. This information is going to be generally true, but there may be some exceptions. The first difference is how the cells are made. Mono cells are made from a single ingot of silicon that is cut into wafers. Poly cells are made from multiple pieces that are melted into one wafer. Poly cells are made with a newer manufacturing process and it is cheaper to make, thus uh, poly solar panels are cheaper than mono solar panels. Once the cells are formed into solar panels, you can see some aesthetic differences between the two. Mono solar panels have the distinctive shape of the mono cells, which are cut off at the corners like that. Mono solar panels are black in color, whereas poly solar panels are bluish. So with a black mono panel with a black uh, aluminum frame, you can get really nice looking installs like you see in this picture that most people think look better. This is an example of a polycrystalline solar panel system and as you can see it's got that bluish tint. I don't think it looks awful but some people pr definitely prefer the black. And here you can see some of the swirling and uh, discolorations you can get with the bluish polycrystalline solar panels. Again some people don't like that. Another difference, a uh, big difference, is that mono panels are more efficient which doesn't mean that they perform better. What it means is that they can produce more power for the same space. So as you can see in this example, for the same square footage, you're gonna get more power, uh, 65 watts more power out of the panel on the right than you would on the panel on the left. And that comes into play when you have limited space on your roof, you're gonna possibly wanna go with the more efficient panel. Monocrystalline panels also do slightly better in lower light conditions. So um, they may produce more power for a little bit longer each day when the angle isn't quite as good or the sun is not as strong. However, in the past, large mono installations would suffer from some shading problems, but that's largely been taken care of by diodes and microinverters. And I won't go into further detail on that, but it's usually not an issue anymore. And finally, poly panels are less heat tolerant, which means that the degradation of power they produce is more as temperature rises than mono. However, because of their bluish color, they absorb less heat, so usually this isn't a problem. So in conclusion, here's a list of benefits of each different type of panel. There are other types of panels. We will talk about those in other videos in the future, but here's a handy little reference for you on the, the pros of each compared to each other and thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time